Okay, so we are ready for day two of our Wenzel Hablick galaxy painting or chalk art. What we did last week, and you did a great job with this, is you did your chalk pastel galaxy, we used our stencil. So now we need to add the planets. And what we talked about today in class is how do we take a two-dimensional object, which is just like a shape, like a circle, square, triangle, and turn it into a form. And form is something that has three dimensions. So we're gonna do that by adding the illusion of a shadow. So we add that illusion of a shadow, it makes it go from a 2D flat shape to more of a three-dimensional round shape. So it's giving that illusion of space and depth, and that's what we're going for. So what you wanna do today is move your galaxy off to the side so it doesn't get messy, and in your packet, you should have gotten some strips of colorful paper. So what I need you to do is cut circles from these papers. You need about, mm, Depending on how big you do, you probably want like four or five, maybe four to six different circles. You wanna use a variety of sizes and a variety of colors. So you decide what you think looks good with your galaxy and then you'll trace them out. If you have something to trace in class, we use tracers, but since you're home, you can find like the end of a water bottle and you can trace it. You can find anything round and you can trace the inside of like a tape dispenser or you can just draw it yourself and cut it, it's up to you. My tip that I gave the kids is when you're using a tracer or whatever you're tracing, you want to turn it over on the white side and don't go straight in the middle, go to the end so you can save as much paper as you can. So I trace on the back side. That way if I don't cut perfect, nobody's gonna see it on my pretty side. So what I want you to do is go ahead and trace a variety of sizes and some big, some medium, some small shapes and different colors that you like. Try at least three different colors and come back when you're done. Okay, you should have four to six different circles and different colors and different sizes. So mine are in a couple of different sizes and I have three colors, so this should be good. What you also want to get is your black chalk pastel, and then you probably want like a wet paper towel, a baby wipe, or a washcloth to clean your hands, because as you can see, it makes it a mess pretty fast. So now we're gonna turn these two-dimensional shapes into a three-dimensional form. And we're gonna do that by using the side of our black chalk pastel, and we're gonna be drawing like a backward C on the edge of each planet. These are like the shadow, so when you are looking at Something. What makes the illusion of it going back into space is the highlights and the shadows. So we're gonna do something like this. I'm using the side of my chalk pastel. You probably want a piece of paper underneath your table because it's gonna get really messy. And I'm just gonna color on the outside edges using that backward C or like a crescent moon shape. I don't wanna go too far towards the middle, just kind of like on the edge. And I wanna build up that dust. I don't wanna blow that dust off and I don't want to smear it yet or tap it off. So I'm just gonna go around my edges. You wanna be on the same side for all your shapes, but it's a circle. So if you accidentally did this side, you can just turn it over. So once you have all your shapes have that dark C pastel, there's one more step. And this was everybody's favorite step at school today. It's the messiest step, and this is why you need that washcloth. If yours pink paper has too much texture, go on the edge and do it. All right, so now you're gonna take two fingers. You have them all done. Before you clean your hands, keep them dirty. You're gonna take your two fingers, and you're gonna start kind of rubbing in a circle. And we're gonna kind of smooth out that edge and kind of bring a little bit of shadow towards the center. So I'm gonna show you again. You can even do one finger if it's small. So I'm just kind of going in a circle to kind of blend the edge so it's nice and dark. And then I'm gonna take that dust on my finger and bring it back to the center. So it gets lighter as it goes into the center. And that's what's gonna give us the illusion of a sphere, which makes it more 3D. So once you do this, you have all your shapes smooth and have that illusion of form, go clean your hands and come right back. Okay, so now what I want you to do is get back your galaxy picture. Hopefully your hands are a little bit cleaner than mine. Get your planets 
and you need some glue. Glue stick won't really work for this. You kind of need your liquid glue. In class, we just painted it on, but since you're at home and if you have a glue bottle, you can just make it work. So decide where you want your plants to live. Remember, all the shadows have to be facing the same direction for it to make sense because all the highlights would come from one area and all the shadows from another. So you can play around with how you like your different planets. My paper is a little bit smaller than yours, so I kind of like those three. So I'm going to stick it with that. You decide, maybe one over there, what works in your world. So once you have it arranged the way you like it, you want to add some glue. When we're adding glue, you remember you touch the nose to the glue bottle. We don't go, want to go right on the edge. We want to go just inside the edge. We always glue on the paper we're adding, not on the thing we're sticking it to. So I have it, double check your shadows are going the right way, and then gently tap it down. Because if we rub this down and massage it, we're gonna spread chalk everywhere and we don't want that. So just kind of tap it down, and if it pops up on the edges, it gives it that extra illusion, so that's fine. So go ahead and add all those. So when you're done, your paper should look something like this. Your things are attached, in class, we are going to get some pearlescent paint or some white paint, and we got a paintbrush, and we're just gonna flick some white paint on it. So if you have white paint at home, or you can even use really watery white out in an old toothbrush, and you can just flick paint on it, it gives that illusion of stars, if you like that. If you don't like that look, you don't have to do it. So either way, you can leave it with stars, or just your planets glued down. And this is your Winsel. Havlick Galaxy. So when you're all finished and you've completed these last few steps, take a picture and upload it to this assignment and you're done. And we'll talk about our next project next week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.